mi salon fambulem una do this uh, alpha side du bangura the bring to una another edition of kapu sense no kapu word today monday the 27th of july 2015. today i want for appeal to we members of parliament them for make them change their game plan let them step up to the plate and may they improve their service to the people of Sierra Leone. I go on for remind we all say, based on available statistics, Sierra Leone get almost 6 million people. It's not possible, it's not practical for let all Sierra Leoneans then get at one place for make laws for themselves and supervise uh, government officials for make sure say the country run well. Therefore, now that make then divide the country into constituencies. It is my understanding that every 40,000 people we get in a one locality, in a one constituency, then we pick one person for go represent them in a parliament. Where that person go, before it they begin discharge in duties as a member of parliament, it they subscribe to an oath. It they swear before God and man say, in go faithfully discharge the duties of a member of parliament and he go uphold maintain and defend the constitution of Sireo. After we don't take that oath, they don't become a member of parliament. We, the people of Sireo, through we tax system, we they pay a salary for that. In order to go represent we for free. Therefore, now work with the girl, a job with the girl. And that makes him or her a servant, not a master. In job now for efficiently and effectively represent we own interest na parliament. And then they make if even you want to discuss issues of national interest as a matter of courtesy, if we can consult with we, because now we own views the we own opinion them now a bound for go represent na parliament now we send and they. I want my members of parliament they understand that. What did they do recently where the minister responsible for transport and aviation, Balogu Kuruma, who can call Logus Kuruma, appear before them, was not good for we. They not efficiently represent we. When Logus appear before them, he go read a statement where we don't prepare about the 100 Buses the way go by out of a 12 million loan way go take for and on behalf of the people of Sireleone from the Chinese government. It just outlined in that statement they say President Ernest Koma instruct them for go buy 100 buses because people and they suffer for transport in the country. He go, he go find this loan from the Chinese uh, government. Then Giam, he talked to the Minister of Finance. They agree on the loan. Then he used uh, one Lebanese man for fan uh, a, a Chinese company with them, Poly Technologies. That Chinese company themselves go now, they go fan the manufacturers, them. they spend the money, they buy the bus, then they bring the bus, then come. The president don't commission on, commission the bus step. The members of parliament, they beat a duba for an engladi. Then praise her. That is not enough. The members of parliament did not ever ask Logos if whether he been comply with section 118 of the constitution of Sierra Leone, the 1991 constitution, when I know the supreme law. Section 118 of the constitution say any loan, any money where the government of Sierra Leone, they go lent. That particular loan in package must be laid before parliament by the minister of finance 
for make parliament discuss and properly and ratify them. That was not done with that $12 million loan where logos go take for them boss yeah. Parliament not even talk about that. They not ask logos about that. The constitution also talk about the public debt division in the Ministry of Finance. The important role where them for play in negotiating any loan where the government of Sion for go take. They not ask nothing about that. Immediately after when logos don't come out in the parliament, Nain, the director of the public debt division of the Ministry of Finance, one Mr. Sa Jusu, go to parliament, but go tell them, say, in division, in department where they had, no mix pada loan day in negotiation. And that is unconstitutional. And from when Mr. Jusu tell parliament that today, day, parliament not talk nothing again. That is not how you efficiently represent the interest of the people of Sahelio. As members of parliament, we are supposed to play an oversight role. What does that mean? It means say when government officials them they fail for act right, like our logos fail for act right, so now we for put under the red carpet, we punish them for that. It don't broke law. Again, as a minister, before he begin discharging duties, he himself be subscribed to an oath in which he assure we say he go defend, uphold, and maintain the constitution of Sahelio. So if he don't fall short of that, that is sufficient for Pulam as minister. We cannot reward bad behavior. So do ya now beg me the beg. Una we should call una honorable this, honorable that. Now, because we expect Una for do honorable things. Do ya all we to be the do trade we not right. From fair, we don't forgive Una for that. Do ya una rehabilitate una self, una reboot una self. Let us turn to a new page. Let us be ready for efficiently represent we now. I know say one of the reasons the why we are afraid for all President Anescoma and ministers the accountable. Now because when the Ebola crisis been come, President Anescoma been give each member of parliament 64 million euros, which if I don't lie is about 13 to 14 thousand dollars. For make una go sensitize people and our constituencies. 30 day, non pound no account for that baby, baby money day. So therefore, una are afraid now for talk about transparency and accountability. For me, they not can ask una self. I understand them kind in a day. But all that one day, from fame, we don't left una for that. Do ya, them bad thing they don't be to do as members of parliament. Would they beg una now, let una stop. Because when the next election come, each and every one of Una I go present in record. I don't tell Una say, na me greatest joy that to present the records of people from na the proper day of accountability that election time. We go all Una responsible for Una own action there. And Una not work correctly, you know, do what he be supposed to do. May just say goodbye to parliament because now they come back. We go so trick now they can go na parliament again. Now you performance, and you guys don't forget that you are in a public office. And just like I can always say, we person there in a public office, he bound for giving himself up to the public for a critical examination of in character and in performance. You cannot stop that. Now, all the evidence them, what the people they get, is due to anti-corruption. Commissioner Joseph Kamara, this is the second time they draw your attention. This case here, you know, go to Bukira. Parliament don't fail for all logos accountable. Now, we, the people of Sahelona, so you know more we have. Recently, I see a document where you pull, where you assure we say, you they investigate the case and you go make we know the outcome. This case here, you know, go able for kill a like if you don't kill the other one anymore because some of us are right on top of it. Accountability na a core value in Sarayo. We're not gonna make Una can kick him. You cannot do that. People should be held accountable for their stewardship for the thing they wouldn't do. Now that one day go make the country improve. Now that one day go make the country better. Now that one day go improve the lives of the people of Sarayo. 
So once again, members of parliament, do you have a beguna on a change on a game plan? Because it is not working, it is not helping us. Anti-corruption, logos in case then are you on. If you make your less program, huh? You self self logos in case go cost you your job. And they assure you that. Because we the people of Sierra Leone go all you responsible for that. Until next week, we will bring to another edition. This is Alpha Side Ubangwa. They say tata.